dear teachers, in this video we will use Lab for Physics speedometer to study the movement of a body in a liquid with a density greater than that of water, for example laundry detergent or dish soap. To run this experiment we need the following materials, a 500 mm test tube, laundry detergent or dish soap, measuring tape, masking tape, a transparent tape, a marker, a string and a marble. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make marks with, at regular intervals on the test tube. Every 5 cm works well. To do this, we will need a tape and a piece of masking tape along the length of the test tube to draw the marks and the marbles on the tape. With the measuring tape, we will make marks of 5 cm intervals. We will put the zero at the top of the test tube, leaving a space uh, between the edge of the test tube and our zero. I'll explain why we need to do this uh, in a minute. Once the mark on the test tube are ready, we will fill the tube with liquid detergent up to the level of the zero mark. When we drop the marble into this column of liquid, the marble will displace the volume of the liquid up toward the top of the tube. That's why we leave a little space between the edge of the test tube and the zero mark or initial position. Now, let's tie a piece of string around the marble. We will also stick a piece of transparent tape around the string so that it stays in place around the marble. This string is so that we will be able to pull the marble out of the liquid after it's been submerged. Now the objective of this experiment is that we will use the speedometer tool to measure the time it takes for the marble to pass each of one of the marks on the test tube. To do this we will need to open the Lab for Physics app, go to the tools section and choose speedometer and start new measurement. First, we need to enter each of the marks that the marble will pass as it's submerged in the liquid. In this case, those marks would be 0, 5, 10 centimeters, 15, 20, 25, and 30. By default, the unit of measurement in the app is centimeters. If you want to modify this to another unit of measurement, you just need to select where it says centimeters and change the units. We have the option of using meters, inches and feet. Since our marks are in centimeters, we will not need to modify the units of this measurement for this experiment. Now, if you happen to have added a mark that you want to get rid of, you just need to click and drag it to the left, at which point the delete button will appear, select it and the mark will disappear. If you've already entered all the marks that the marble will pass as it's submerged, you can press next. Now, with the help of another person, you can release the marble from a given height and then tap the screen each time the marble passes one of the marks. The tool will immediately give you a graph of position versus time for the movement of the marble. Even though the marble tends to fall in a straight line, the liquid causes the marble to deaccelerate, which you can observe on the graph. On the same graph, you can select a point on which the upper part of the screen, you can look at the values for time and position for the points you selected. We suggest doing this experiment with liquids of different densities and, and, and noting the differences and similarities in their position versus time graphs. Some examples include molasses, glycerin, corn syrup or rubbing alcohol. This is just one of an example of an experiment you could do using the speedometer tool. We invite you to think beyond the experiment to come up with extensions that will help you push your students thinking. For example, another topic you can work with this experiment is that of error. How do the graphs change when you run the experiment multiple times with the same liquid? Remember, we have lots of other pre-designed experiments inside the app. You can also design your own experiment or practical lessons based on this tool. Happy experimenting!